Back now with a big medical bill, though, for a Suffolk pastor during a vacation to Hawaii. Pastor Greg Ryan was diagnosed with leukemia. And his family wanted him transferred to Duke University Hospital from Hawaii. And now they're facing a bill that's close to $100,000. And your size, Laura Queso is here with how the community is trying to help and how you can pitch in. Laura? Pastor Ryan says our community is literally helping him stay alive. He spends his life uplifting and praying for others. Well, now he's getting those same things from the community he serves. He can no longer stand in front of his congregation. Now he's forced to sit in the hospital. But his church members refuse to let him fight alone. This is the face of a 53-year-old marathon runner, husband, father, grandfather of seven. For Pastor Ryan, a vacation to Hawaii turned into the fight of his life. But a fight that his church isn't letting him fight alone. Because we love him. Love, a key word to his story, one filled with many struggles, tears, loss of hair, maybe even mobility at times, but one filled with hope, resilience, and community. He's done so much for our community. He's worked hard to pull our community to get together. So now his community is pulling together for him. Just days after the news spread that Pastor Ryan was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia at MedVac to Duke University Hospital with a $95,000 expense, his church started fundraising and some volunteers jumped in too. That was a way for us to give back to the community by helping a member of the community. Chuckatuck Fire Chief Jacob Johnson hosted a fundraiser here at the fire department for more than 750 people. They raised $40,000. And while Pastor Ryan undergoes chemotherapy hundreds of miles away, he's noticing, and the support he says is helping him heal. I was supposed to die a couple times, and it was not to be, mostly through the great doctors, and more so through the prayers of so many of my friends and family. Prayers and love, again, key words to his story. A community doing for him what he's devoted his life to do for them. Again, thank you very much and blessings to you all. Now, you may have noticed we didn't sit down and interview Pastor Greg as we had hoped to do. That's because he finished up five days of chemo yesterday at Duke. Now, I did speak with him on the phone, and he said he's taking life just one day at a time. To donate, head to wavy.com. Laura Queso, 10 on your side.